guys, today we are recreating the latest Fortnite live event with Clay. <gasps> Clay, Clay. I know the new season is out for two weeks now. I'm a little slow. I'm on a movie festival at Annecy, but I still wanted to create. Ah, oh, look at this. Good old memories. The mecha team leader. You remember fighting him against the monster? Well, I did this rock him and sock him. But today. <laughs> It's also about a mecha, the mecha strike commander from the latest live event fighting all the blimps. Oh no! We start with the amateur aluminum wire and take a lot of black pearl as the main as the base layer. After oven hardening, I'm planning to color the whole robot with metallic markers. So I'm taking a different approach compared to the first mecha, which I created three years ago. And I'm really looking forward to, well, explore new techniques and coloring this. I know on YouTube there are a lot of crafters and clay people like I am, and they are working with Sculpey and painting, uh, it's their default, painting the creation after the oven hardening process. Um, this time it's quite similar. We are working on the torso. And let me share some words on all the details which we can see. We have tons of amazing um, armory weapons stuff I can't identify yet. But I will use the 3D model, the reference inside the game. You can see that I'm using a printout of the original skin and using this as my blueprint. With a scalpel I can mark the different spots and now try to work on the different heights of the armor and then define it and adding further layers of details to it. We have the chest area which is still very similar to the original Mecha Team Leader skin. What I loved about this first skin was all the reference, which we got from the game, from the current seasons, back when it started. Besides the pearl black, we are using some silver into today's creation. We have some spots, the areas where the rockets are launching from, but also these vents. And later on, you can see this right now for the shoulder patches and the fists, the hands, l the lower arms, we will also use some silver. The last but not least third color which we will use in clay is another metallic color, brass. I could have painted this because there is a brass marker, a metallic marker out there. But in the end I try to use clay whenever possible. And I think it looks even cooler that only the blue spots will be painted in the end. Now with the new season we got tons of new locations and skins. I'm so curious to read your comments what you would like to see from the latest Fortnite season. Leave it down in the comments, hit the bell, subscribe and see the, the latest Fortnite creation once I finished it. <laughs> Again, this one um, took me a little longer because I was at Annecy in France, a beautiful movie festival in the French Alps with the purpose of learning more about the movie industry. Um, you know that we've been working for many years now on our stop motion project, Mole Monastery, and learning how animation and animation productions work and come to life. I think it's the best approach you can do, just learn from others, see what they have been up to doing um, or what, what they have been doing for projects and learn from this at any kind of stage. We had screenings, we had talks every day. It was somehow confusing and difficult to understand how to get into all these um, events because it was so crowded. 
this tiny beautiful town at the lake and a sea and then so so many visitors just for this one conference from all over the world coming together celebrating animation well it was really inspiring to me but i did not only learn movie stuff the first day we crystal from our team and i wanted to have lunch we went out found this lovely restaurant at a river old buildings narrow streets it felt like venice although i've never been to venice and we wanted to order something local something special and ended up ordering cheese fondue the melted cheese it tasted so delicious the bread well um you used this long fork to put it on and dip it into the fondue and the bread was a little dried hard but we thought okay it's the way how you eat it how you eat your cheese fondue with and with these some crunchy pieces of bread two-third into the dish we took a closer look at the bread and we were shocked we were shocked after finding mold spots on the bread white and blue mold spots we're taking red clay for some details <laughs> all the time at NSC we had amazing food but this time it was shocking and the restaurant owners reacted so bad they still wanted us to pay for the meal and after some discussion we only had to pay for the drinks and I still refused to pay and they threatened us to call the police and um, Crystal ended up paying for the drinks well how would have you reacted when you have uh, when you would have found mold spots in your dish I'm curious to know if you would have handled it in a different way now the legs are finished the feet are finished and we can place the creation onto the plate to start working on the details of the boots. You remember the good old Mecca team leader in color, which had the Durr burger and also tomato hat as, um, well, the shoes together with his famous mustache. This all happened, correct me if I'm wrong, but this was season 10 and the first chapter it was probably my favorite fortnight time uh, till now because we had such an amazing storyline so many great characters and you also developed so many cool background stories to the skins and we are ready to go to the oven After oven hardening we will now start working on the arms, coating the arms, but I will leave out some spots, right the joints next to the shoulders, that the skin will still be movable after oven hardening. Once again let me ask you which new skin or location from the new season you would like to see next as clay creations on the channel hit the bell subscribe don't miss this future video i will show your comments in the next video the two arms of the mecha strike commander are very different from each other the right arm his right arm has the crocodile crocodile glove which we also know from the good old mecha team leader on the other arm we have this gigantic blast gun i'm not sure what this is but we will come to the other hand as well i take silver clay for hands and fingers lower arm as well and with some red clay we add the tiny glowing elements which can be found all over the arm.
The other hand is created in a different way, although the crocodile glove looks really amazing, really cool. I think I like this hand more because of the cool tubes which we got. This is how I wanted to create them to bring in some texture using the sharp edge of my ruler. And this is also the hand in the live event where the Mecha Strike Commander is grabbing those damaged blimps, smashing them to the ground. This was really special. And now piece after piece the whole armor is coming together with the shoulder patches, also with some glowing red elements. It's sherry red. So it's slightly darker than the one I'm usually using, the Indian red. And this is the crocodile as the glove with big eyes. We will leave out this area, the eyes, when painting with the blue metallic marker and then we have the fins on the back. You can get all the materials on clayclaim.com. So if you are planning to create these, just look for the colors, the three colors, maybe two blocks of black pearl, then silver and also, no, also the brass. Yeah, I'd also take the brass. So we have the blimp and the saw. I'm so sorry to do this, but it has to happen with a bigger saw. The blade is hitting the blimp so smooth, creating this sharp edge. And with some glue we can place some wool inside as the explosion effect. And this is some acrylic paint for some more glowing and spreading and exploding. And this looks so freaking cool. Look at this. That, this, that. And some smoke. Dark smoke. Guys, I guess that's it! The Mecha Strike Commander fighting the blimps! I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know which skin location from the new season you'd like to see next on the channel. Leave it down in the comments. Have an amazing weekend. Stay safe, stay creative. Bye.